Hi guys and girls, uh, John with you again. This will just be a quick one, I promise. Um, I just want to show you the way I'm putting the tracks together. Um, the tracks come in two parts. There's uh, this piece. And this one. Now, they need to be cleaned up, really because, well, you always have to clean them up anyway. Um, nothing. We always have to clean off the uh, sprue gates and things like that. But slight problem with these is that they are just a fraction, a hair's breadth, too fit, too too big. They don't want to kind of slot into place. So they all have to be cleaned off individually around each of the uh, connecting things. Now, it's just a little bit time consuming. It's not bothering me in the slightest. It's all modeling. Uh, something to do this evening while I'm watching the, uh, the ISM show. And I'm sure a lot of you have your own little ways of doing these things be it a bit of music on or something and tip away All right. the reason I'm just showing you is just if anybody's getting this kit just be aware that the tracks are going to take a little bit of time because there is that little bit of extra clean up on them purely because it's just the slightest little bit of um, excess plastic. It's the only way to describe it. I'd say it's the more. It's not flesh. Um, I looked at them fairly close, uh, trying to figure out what was wrong and stuff. It took me a while, and it's just literally they're just a shaving too big. And that's all it is. So give them a nice little clean off. Make sure that all the burrs or whatever you want to call them, little bits of uh, loose plastic are gone with that one. This one now is actually a bit easier because you've just got the two sprue gates at one side, there's nothing at the other, it's just the way they're mount mounted to the sprue. So it's just a kind of a, a quick clean up there on that. But there is also a, we help, just in between where, if you can see here, actually you can see, I can see in the camera better than I can see in myself, all right, just in there, it just needs that little bit of a scraping, and you can see that it's actually, there is something there to scrape away, not in every one of them, but in the odd one there is, just a little bit of an overhanging stuff, so, Initially, I thought that that might be for clipping them together or something, but uh, I counted that one out after a bit of uh, fiddling and fiddling. So it's all just a light as little bit too much. As you can see, that I'm I'm practically removing nothing at all. all right, and that's it then. <laughs> little blow and. I fit that then to that and that fits in quite nicely and it even holds its place think holds its place in there and just fits in nicely I have my double sided tape stuck down just peel it back as I need it it's already stuck down in a nice straight line on my ruler here in place so I pull back the tape just slot it in get a tweezers I hold these ones firm I hope a little bit too heavy on the tap in there John just give it a little bit of a tapping in and I'll take a look to see if they've been separated by any bit of plastic or anything and once you're happy I'm gonna close it back up again and start back again. Now I could go to the bother, you know, cleaning all them up, then cleaning all them up and then just 
fitting with that, but I find that quite tedious. I find this way much easier. Uh, but if everyone's to their own, other people might prefer to do them all and then do a sort of a building project. This way I like it because I can do one or two, uh, take a break away, do something else, come back to it, do another couple. You know yourself, and everything is now stuck onto the mat, so I can push the mat away and uh, do something else. So, that's just a quick one on how I do the tracks for the uh, Zvezda uh, King Tiger. Hope you, uh, if, you're, if you're thinking of getting the kit, just something to look out for. So, like and subscribe if you haven't already. Uh, John Moore signing off again. Like I said, it was just a quickie.